Okay, artists, welcome back for Dots Day 2. Today, you need your watercolor paints, a brush, a cup of water, and your dots from the previous class that have your name and class on it. You are going to open up your watercolors, and we are going to wake up these watercolors. You need to dip your brush in a little bit of water, and you are going to twirl your brush like a ballerina right on that color to wake it up, because if you don't wake it up with any water, it doesn't work. So now that I have a little bit of water, I can start painting my dots with watercolor. And do you see how the color of the crayon comes right through the watercolor? In fact, I did a white crayon dot and it's showing up right through. I can dip my brush in the water, tap, 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 give it a swish, tap, 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 give it a swish to clean it. And then I can get a new color. I have to make sure I clean between colors. We don't want to mix up these colors and I can mix my dot colors on here. So my watercolors mix together. So my yellow and my red mix to create an orange. I can clean my brush again and get a new color and paint right on top of my watercolor dots. Don't be afraid of painting right over these dots because the crayon creates a resist so that the crayon pushes through the watercolor paint. Crayon and water don't like each other, so they push apart, which allows the crayon to show through and create this beautiful effect called resist. I'm going to keep painting my dots, maybe trying just a little bit of water on my paper and then adding some watercolor so that it kind of spreads and blooms like a flower. And I'm going to fill my paper with my watercolor. Okay, now that I am all done, I am going to make sure I clean my brush in the water gently. I don't want to splash it. I'm going to close up my watercolors and I am going to be leaving my painting flat. If I pick it up, the paint might drip and I don't want that to happen. So when I take it to put it on the drying rack, I'm going to hold it on both sides to make sure it doesn't fly away from me. If I hold it like this, it might fly away. So I'm going to hang on to it on the edges so that I don't get my fingers on the, the big parts of my painting. Great job, artist, beautiful dots.